very stars of pocket billiards. A treat for us here at ESPN, we've got Alan Hopkins, former world champion, current U.S. Open nine ball champion to share in the commentary, and Alan Hopkins, Luther Lassiter, and Irving Crane, two of the greats. Yes, I think they're uh, some of the greatest players around. Luther Lassiter is a fantastic nine ball player in his prime there was nobody could beat him and Irving Crane who has played him probably more than any other opponent has beaten him and he's beaten Irving so it should be an interesting match well clearly two very distinguished men of pocket billiards now the game of seven ball many of you may not be familiar with it it's a little bit different explain it to us it's a, a new speedy game devised for for TV um, it's consists of seven balls the striped ball is the seven ball whoever pockets the seven ball wins the game you have one side of the table which you make the seven, your opponent has the other side. And you designate after the break which side of the table you choose to sink the seven ball on. That's right. If you make the seven on the break, though, you win. Can you make the seven ball on the break? I'm going to try. Okay. Alan Hopkins, former world champion, to see if he can put the seven ball, which is in the middle, hidden by the other six. Well, a ball falls, but not the seven. Okay, we'll be back with legendary stars of pocket billiards in just a minute. Known as Wimpy, the world over two legends. The coin toss by referee Charlie Ursetti. And now the Deacon will make the break. This is a four-game set. First man to reach four games. Mr. Crane breaks. And wins on a break. Oh. I'm right in the hole. Alan Hopkins didn't do it, but Irving Crane does, so he wins the first game right out of the box. Of course, the rule on that, Alan Hopkins, is that if you sink the seven ball out of the break, you win the, win the game, unless you scratch. Unless you scratch, then you lose the game. Scratch is the, when the cue ball goes in the pocket. One stroke and a win. And our, one of our hosts is here, Chris Dalton, racking up the seven balls. Now, I look over there. Is the seven ball in the middle? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Can't quite Game see. Two, yeah. Seven ball with the lead yeah, there it is. <coughs> Irving doesn't break the balls as hard as. Mr. Lashley, your choice of what side of the table? The other players. Your choice. Now, there you see, Wimpy Lassiter has his choice of which side he wants to sink the seven ball on. Okay. Playing the one ball. I think he's going to knock the seven ball on his side of the table on this shot. Luther Lassiter, four times the world champion. That's all that Put the seven on his side of the table, which was a good shot. After the seven game set, we will move to a nine game set, which is just two more balls. Whoever wins one ball, the first two of these. I correct myself, a seven ball set. This is in the seven ball set. We will go to nine ball sets after this, and then if need be, to an eight ball set. First round, six of the all time greats. Two ball in a corner. Pocket billiards playing here. Irving Crane probably plays Three position ball. as good as anybody. The Deacon, the only man to win the world championship oh, over 50 years oh, old. Two balls only. Four ball. This is my side. Yes. <laughs> Five ball in the corner. Mm. You hear the voice of Charlie Ursetti in the background. Six ball in the corner. Tournament referee. 
He played for a bank. He's going to bank the seven ball seven cross ball corner. Cross corner. He won't hit it hard because he doesn't want the seven to come back on the other side of the table. Well, he won't get that. Bear in mind now that it makes no difference how many balls you sink in seven ball. It is just the seven ball that gives you the game. So with his first stroke of any consequence here, Wimpy Lassiter has a chance to win the second game. He's called it. Seven ball. Another cross corner bank. I think he made it. Nice shot. Great shot. <clears throat> Very good shot. So games one apiece. Wimpy, tied one game apiece. Wimpy in his prime was known as the greatest shot maker. And it shows. Wimpy Lassiter, enshrined in the Professional Pool Players Association Hall of Fame. There's a the seven, seven ball. Don't scratch. Oh, oh he's he lost the game. He pocketed the seven ball, but he scratched on the seven. So that is a rule. If you scratch off the seven ball, you lose the game. So they'll be racked up again. Score is now two games to one in favor of Mr. Crane. <laughs> That's a tough break there, scratching on that ball. Hey, what happened then? Luther doesn't know what happened. When you made the seven on the break and scratch, you lose the game. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Luther did not understand that rule. Boy, look at Irving making the winner. seven on the break every time. <laughs> I don't know what the odds are against that, but that's Scar two breaks, one. and that gives the Deacon, a 2-1 lead, <laughs> and Wimpy Lasserted has said, I should have stayed in bed. 3-1 for Crane. We'll be back in a minute. Three games to one. We're in game five, and how extraordinary. He didn't sink the seven ball off the break. Lost, the Lost break. his touch. Flash your choice of side of table. You might spend a lifetime watching seven ball and never see two consecutive breaks where the seven ball fell. And that has given the Deacon 3-1 lead. Now, Luther Lassiter has called his side of the table. through the course of the proceedings here that this table is what is known as a fast table. It's a new table, been stretched recently. Two ball. Tough shot he had. The cue ball was frozen against the rail. It means it was touching the rail. It makes it a very difficult shot. This is your side. Two ball in the corner. Started playing on a miniature table his father bought as a Christmas gift for him. Turned pro at 23. Won his first world title at 28. Three ball. Good shot. If practice makes perfect, then Irving Crane is considered to be the most diligent practicer. Ball ball in the corner. Mm. It's a break for Wimpy. Ball ball in the corner. This is a draw shot. He's going to draw the cue ball back for a five ball.
five ball in the corner. That's a good shot. Six ball in the corner. Perfect. Seven ball. No, relatively Game Mitch Lasseter. So, Wimpy Lasseter, it narrows the gap here, draws within one of the Deacon, 3-2. Irving Crane leading. Now Luther Lasseter, the man, as I watch him play, Alan, he seems to be a little more fidgety than many of the players. Is that a characteristic of his game? That's just his characteristic. He's been like that his whole life. He, uh, the pressure doesn't seem to bother him as much. He may look fidgety, but Game he stands six. up real good when he has to. Under pressure, he's a good player. Well, nothing falls. Now, Urban Crane will choose the side of the table. He wants to sink the seven ball on. Doesn't matter here, Kim. The seven ball, when it's in the middle of the table like that, it really doesn't matter which side you choose. I'll take that side, but it won't make much difference. <laughs> <laughs> and Alan Hopkins showing his okay. obvious it. knowledge of the game as a former world champion. Luther left him safe on the break. He cannot, cannot see the one. He's going to have a hard time hitting it. There's a look at our overhead camera, the table laid out for you. Not much to work with. And there is the one ball. Can't get to it. Playing for the one ball. That's a tough break. He, Luther left him ball in no shot at all. Well, now that gives Luther Lasseter ball in hand anywhere on the table, which means that he has his choice of placing the ball anywhere, taking a shot, which is essentially giving a guy a free ball, ball at corner. least. Very big advantage with top players. He's got a little difficulty getting here to the two ball. It looks like he's going to draw the cue ball straight back. Very nice shot. He doesn't want to be straight on the two, and it looks like he got straight on it. Well, now, why not? He wants an angle on the two so he can come up table for the three ball. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. It looks like he can only... Two ball in the corner. He's just following up the cue ball. No, it's a very tough shot to do. Again, he left him safe, though. He got lucky. Which is allowed to happen. Crazy. Crazy. Back in the 1950s, when pocket billiards went out of vogue a bit, not too many tournaments, Deacon Crane had to Two ball. become a car salesman to support his family. But wouldn't you know it, he sold Cadillacs. It's ball in hand and two fouls. A respot to six was pocketed illegally. Three ball fouls. In hand He's spotting the sixth ball because he pocketed it illegally, and all balls must be spotted when they are pocketed illegally. Uh, Irving Crane is on two fouls, uh, which Tyler said he just announced. If Irving Crane scratches his next shot, he will lose the game automatically because three fouls in a row is loss of game. Three ball in the corner. Four ball in the corner. Wimpy has probably won more nine ball tournaments than any other player in the tournament here. And since seven ball is so much like nine ball, that's why I figure Luther to play. Very good. Five ball in the corner. Six ball in the corner. Left himself an angle so he can come up table by the side rail. 
left an angle so you can come up by the seven ball on the, on the side rail for the other corner. Hit it perfect. Seven ball in the corner. Master. We're tied Very at good. three apiece. So he has it. We're tied at three apiece. Luther Lasseter, Deacon Crane. Luther Lasseter will have the break again. Was the world all-around champion as recently as 1971. Now 63 years old. The fouls are now taking off Irving Crane. If he fouls in this game, it's, it's a new game, so it eliminates his other game two fouls. Game seven in the tiebreak. Body English, will anything drop? Maybe the cue ball. No. It does not look good for Irving Crane. Your choice, sir. Okay. Doesn't make any difference. Second time Luther has broken him and left Irving safe. When you say left him safe, left him without much of a shot. It's the same as being schnookered, yes. He, he, he has to kick at the one ball. He has to hit a rail or a cushion and hit the one ball. I ain't the one ball. And bad hit. So he misses the one ball. Now Luther Lasseter will have ball, ball in hand. hand. Three games in a row. Luther, you have this side. It was Mr. Crane's choice. You broke. Crane has this one. I have no. it. <clears throat> That's your side. That's my party. Right. You oh, broke. You chose. I'm sorry. There's some confusion about which side <laughs> Luther Lasseter has, but tournament Ball referee hand. Charlie Rossetti clears it up. Ball in hand for Luther Lasseter. Kim, that goes to show you how far ahead Luther is thinking. He already wants to know what side of the table his seven ball is going to, because he's got all the balls planned and which pocket they're going to go to. The important thing is this five and the six ball, how he's going to get to the seven ball. Two ball in a corner. This is the deciding game. Three ball in a corner. Crane was off to a fast start, but Lassiter closed the gap. He's got a little bit of a tricky shot ball here. Ball in the corner. He doesn't want to hit the seven ball when he comes off the rail up table. He hit it perfect. Can he run it out from here? Yes, I would say so. He's got an angle on the five, which he really doesn't want much of an angle. Five ball in the corner. He'll shoot the cue ball real soft and make the five. That's a touch of a master. Ooh, he has the touch. Six ball in the corner. Ball, the game, and set one. It's off a little bit of a cut shot in this. And always playing it in the corner. Good shot. Game and set. And he gets it. So there is the game and the set for Luther Lasseter, four games to three, and we'll be back with the nine ball portion in just a minute. So stay with us. Won the first set, 4-3. We are now into the nine ball portion, which is, as Alan Hopkins tells me, is a world champion, not much different. What is the hey, difference? Well, nine ball is Luther's game. He was the, he was the greatest at nine ball. Crane. 
uh, this game has two more balls on the table. The eight and the nine are going to be on the table. And nine you win pocketing the nine ball, ball not the seven the ball. Nine ball can be the nine ball can be played pocket, in any pocket. Any time, as long as and if you scratch on the nine, it doesn't the make table. a difference. Ball be the ball comes behind the line and the nine ball gets spotted. So the difference being yeah. that you don't have to designate one, the side on which you're going to sink the nine ball. Any pocket will do. Right, and two more balls on the table. The eight and the nine are on the table. The eight ball pocketed on the break. Mr. Crane continues to shoot at the one ball. He pocketed the eight on the break, but you have two more balls than you do playing the seven ball. Again, you both ball on the table first. In the first set, Irving Crane dropped the seven ball twice out of the break. Tough shot. And while that one ball goes in the side, continues to shoot. Don't think that was the pocket he was trying for, was it? No, Kim, it wasn't the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Rather be lucky than good. Yes. Well, he's both. You joined us late on no! World Champion, current U.S. Open nine ball champion, and we are playing nine ball here with two of Pocket Billiard's legendary stars. This man, Irving the Deacon Crane, and Luther Wimpy Lassiter, there he is. Two ball. The table, four and a half feet by nine feet. Tough shot again, another tough shot. He may have left Luther safe. In other words, in other words, Luther doesn't have a shot now. He may not even be able to hit the two ball. It's, I can't tell from here. Now, you mentioned that Luther Lasseter is one of the finest nine ball players. Why? Well, he was, ball. his shot making ability was superb, his long shot making ability, and his position play. When you play nine ball, you can only pos play position for one ball at a time. And he was very good at that. Right now. Luther left Irving. Two ball. A tough shot. Looks like he's playing safe. He was. He caught a bad roll. He hit the side pocket, and the cue ball stayed there. Well, now, Irving Crane is unhappy. He got snookered three times in the first set, mm -hmm. and... He hasn't really been able to get his bearings Two ball in the corner. since. You watch Luther play how he plays for angles on the balls. Three ball in the corner. Perfect. Four ball on the side. Relatively easy shot. Five ball in the corner. Looks like he's out from here, Kim. A prediction. Six ball in the corner. He has the Seven right ball angle. on the side. This is the angle he wants to come down for the nine ball in the corner pocket. Nine ball in the corner. Perfect. <laughs> Game one, Mr. Lasseter. <laughs> so there it is. Luther Lasseter runs the table. And here's a look at that final shot. The follow through. Yes, his follow-through is great. He has a short pullback, but he follows through. More or less, he shoots a lot like I do, Kim, and with my stroke. I stroke the ball a lot like he does. I know in golf, uh, Hubert Green is one of the putters that really accentuates the follow-through. 
Same principle in pool, just keep the cue going in the same direction? That, yes, uh, follow through is very important, especially when you want to draw the cue ball back or follow it. Your follow through is very important. He'll follow through on game the break two. here too. Lead, but watch his follow through on, on his stroke. See how hard he hits them? <laughs> Seven ball went on a break, end of five. Playing the one ball. Not an easy shot. Very good. Very nice shot. Remember, this is the first player to win four games. If Luther Lasser wins here, he moves on to the second round. If Deacon Crane should win, they would have a playoff in eight ball. To qualify that, moving on to the second round. It is a double elimination tournament. They will go into separate Three parts ball. of the draw, and the loser's draw will work out to one side and the winner's to the other. And the winners of the loser's side have the option of coming back, have the privilege of coming back and playing the winners of the winner's side. And if you followed that, <laughs> you're better than I am. It's double elimination in any case. You're not dead if you lose here. Two losses. You must lose twice to be out. Ball, ball. Whippy's playing. Six ball in the corner. Wimpy is playing very good. Eight ball in the corner. Okay, now what's he going to do here? He's going to follow the cue ball with high English to come down, back down on the bottom rail. Unless if he has an angle, he'll come around two rails. It looks like he has an angle. Yes, he, come, he had an angle. He came around two rails to the bottom rail. He hit it perfect. Nine ball in the corner. Very Game good. And he has it. Deacon Crane has not changed his expression. <clears throat> so Luther Lassiter up two in the nine ball part of the competition. We'll be back with more legendary stars <clears throat> in just a minute. Tony Riddles. Jimmy Moore, Joe the Meat that Man, Balsas. And ball here, yeah. one ball. the Deacon. Irving Crane. All of that on ESPN. The first time in the history of pool these six men have all been together. An event designed especially for them. Yes. Two ball. Game. Irving made a good shot there. Three ball. And it does not fall. Well, now how will he play this one, though? He snookered. Yes, he has a difficult shot. He's going to probably go up and down the table. He's going to go to the, the bottom rail. Up and down. This is the way he has to do it. Playing the five ball. And he has to watch out he doesn't scratch with it. Brings it back gently. Can he nick it? No. Yes. Good shot. Just a routine Playing two a banker. Combination huh. six into the nine. These used to be his best shots. Combination shot. Six ball into the nine. Very, very Lasser. good. And he gets it. So right now, Luther Wimpy Lassiter cascading along here, three nothing. And Irving Crane has had but four strokes since this uh, particular game got underway, this particular set. Irving hasn't had much of a chance, Kim. Uh, that's the first ball I've seen him miss.
Well, he's on a hot streak now. He feels, feels it going well. And our hostess, one of the hostesses here, Chris Dalton, racking up the ball. Sometimes it's tough to get them just so. You can see in the middle, the striped ball is the nine Push ball. The eighth move. It's very important, Kim, that the balls all be frozen together. By frozen, I mean touching each other. <coughs> game four, Mr. So Lasseter leads three games Why? to none. Well, the nine ball is in the middle, and if the balls are loose, the nine ball will move around a lot. It won't move that much with the balls ball frozen together. Break. Here's another combination shot. Now, Luther Lasseter has right now, run the table twice. Two to the nine. And... Is he going to go for the uh, combination? I Game, think so. match, set, ball. I think he's going for it. Good oh. shot. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> when you're hot, you're hot. And he gets it. She whiz. That's extraordinary. So Luther Lassiter gets that. Gives him the game, and that gives Luther, him the set. So now. Luther Lasseter moves <laughs> on in almost no time flat, yeah. beating Irving the Deacon Crane. And we'll be back for a quick word with a winner right after this. 